In a recent video, I showed you exactly how ChatGPT4 was on another level. ChatGPT4, it's out and it's ready to play. And some different ways that you could improve your productivity and your business acumen with ChatGPT4. Now I'm gonna give you three ChatGPT4 add-ons and tools that'll make you a productivity god. First and foremost, Web ChatGPT. So this is just a Chrome extension that essentially takes your ChatGPT experience and adds in web results so that it can improve the quality of the output of your prompt. So in here, I'm still using Model 4 for ChatGPT and I have this setting section right here. Essentially what you'll see is the default prompt has the web search results and then the query comes out after it. Using the provided web search results, write a comprehensive reply to the given query. That makes complete sense. It's just telling it to use the web results but it's something that saves time for the end user. Now within here, we can pick the region. So I'm gonna pick United States. And then you can also pick any time, past day, week, month, past year. And this brings in more context that ChatGPT just didn't have before I added it on because it's still being trained off models from 2021. So I'm gonna to have to take two steps for this actually. The first step is gonna be write me three tweets in the style of Alex Hermosi. And you'll see that it actually is gonna find a couple of the different tweets here. And then it's gonna give me some output auto-generated tweets based on how Alex Hermosi talks. Now, once this prompt is done, what I then can do since it has more of the context of what Alex Hermosi sounds like, is I can say without the web access, after I've already pretty much found it, in that style of Alex Hermosi, write five tweets based on the topic below. And it's gonna be a journal excerpt from Notion. And then what you'll see as it's doing an output is it's actually referencing each time where it's getting the style from. So number one here is gonna be the first quote tweet that it referenced. Only listen to people's opinions if they have bigger dreams than you do. So now you'll see that it's spitting out these tweets while referencing that original information, which you would have had to manually go into your web browser and find the tweets from Alex Ramosi, but now you're able to do this. So we're prompt sequencing and we're using this awesome add-on. And number two, speaking of ChatGPT prompt sequencing, we're gonna use Promptheus. So what Promptheus does is it lets you verbally talk with ChatGPT. So if I add this to my browser, first of all, you'll notice since I was using Brave, I listened to the thing and it said, oh, hold the space bar. That's not gonna work, unfortunately. Uh, what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to go to uh, Chrome and basically Brave doesn't have a default mic, which is totally fine. Like what are you gonna do about it? You can see right here, if I go to OpenAI, ChatGPT and log in, you see on the top right that I'm able to hold spacebar to talk. So if I do hold spacebar, hello. Hello, my name is Dimitri and I really wanna just prompt stuff. Look at that, that's, that's exactly, I mean, I said that, I let go a little early before I said stuff. What are your thoughts on making YouTube videos on the internet? And you can actually see on the top here, there's a little recording sign. Well, I'm so glad you like YouTube, ChatGPT, that is amazing. I'm so glad you like YouTube, ChatGPT. How can I make good YouTube videos? There are many ways to make good YouTube videos. Oh, what a smart little chat app you basically turned into. So I think this is really cool. It's another way to easily engage with something like this and just improve your ability to like stream of consciousness, have ideas. Because let's be honest, when working with something like this, we're usually limited by how fast we can type when ideas are coming out of our head. So this definitely helps with that issue. Now, number three, kind of a cop out, but it's using automation with ChatGPT. So I use make.com and Zapier. Make.com is amazing. I actually do have an affiliate link down below. So like full disclosure, but what I've been able to do with ChatGPT is really impressive in my opinion from a couple different standpoints. I auto create so many different things, whether it be YouTube community posts, podcast descriptions, and anything that's pretty basic. And even I constantly get ideas from Twitter using ChatGPT. So every day at 8 a.m., noon and 4 p.m. for me, what happens is it searches in a Notion database for a bunch of different content sources, i.e. people like Alex Ramosi I'm really into for content, Dan Co. And what happens is it lists the tweets out and then spits out example tweets for me to then tweak later. So if I don't wanna Google a bunch of different platitudes, I'm just gonna post anyway, I can just have this automatically go. So if I press run once to show the example, you'll see right here, it'll give this list and pop off so we got okay screen name system sunday and then it'll go in here and create 
some example tweets based on this. So I'll just show you an example really quick. Are you tired of wondering what your future holds? Here are a few quick tips to help you take control, set clear goals, take calculated risks, embrace change. Now that's pretty baseline platitude and I'm gonna tweak that, but it is a good start. And then even here you'll see for other examples, what I have is this is taking tweets and then being like, all right, here's a bunch of different examples of different tweets that I can make based on what other people have said. Lost, directionless, lost, directionless, no idea what I wanted to do, but then I stumbled upon it. And then it's referencing something that it found in the tweet. This person changed everything. Now I have a dream and I'm working towards it one step at a time. Now these are the kind of things that you gotta think about. If ChatGPT is able now to get the context of other people's tweets and know like, okay, that's a high performing tweet, that's a good account, let's spit something back out. Why not leverage that automatically, but rather than going into ChatGPT and being like, okay, can you like find the style of this and do it? No, just give it like five really good tweet examples and then have it automatically do it. And then rather than you having to think of ideas outside of your own personal story, which you should always implement, it'll just spit it out. The answer is yes. Did this go into my own notion? The answer is yes. Are these being used on my Twitter? The answer is also yes, I have a high engagement rate as of recent while using this style. And the answer is also yes, you should check out this video on how to improve your productivity even more.